changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. On this show today, we're going to be discussing gospel music ministry when you hear the word gospel music ministry well let me tell you a little bit about it it goes through the book of psalms it takes prophets psalms of songs of solomon and then we now get to where the musicians back in the days had to be the one to lead ahead of the um, army of israel and then we have it come down to the 17th century uh, where you have um the root in a black traditional oral tradition and of course today in our world where you have in churches we clap hands we sing we play the keyboards and the drums and then we dance so we do popular music joining me today in the show is a gentleman my brother <laughs> seasoned uh, nigerian gospel um singer writer pastor uh, mentor he's a leader what i like to call him a young man with a quiet disposition he is the CEO of the Amayaya Creatives, and he has recorded so many songs that have been hit tracks, like one of my favorites, Amayaya Jesus. Afodo uh, Wudu, um, he has had so many other songs like Sosodo Boa, Afodo Ntak, and this recent one that I'm sure you've heard about it, that is just so widely accepted, Owudu worldwide and so many testimonies are coming to me. Allow me to introduce to you my brother Bobby Frigga. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Patapan Show. You're welcome to the show. <laughs> Oh, social distance. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Baby. Oh. So, welcome to the show. Buddy. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm very perfect. Thank you. Bobby Figure, for those people who, well, may not have heard about the name Bobby Figure, tell us about yourself. Where are you originally from? Uh, Bobby Figure is from the ancient city uh. of the African elephants. Okay. A city where God dwells. Oh wow! Okay. By name. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, so God dwells in by name. No, not by name. By name. Okay. Yeah. God dwells in by name. Well, God also dwells where I come from. <laughs> 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 I have to say that. <laughs> okay. With that being said, God, when you hear about <laughs> gospel music, what does gospel music mean to you? Oh God, um, gospel music. Um, for me, gospel music is my life. Wow. So I hold so dear to my life. Mm -hmm. And the same way I hold so dear to gospel music. It means a lot. Everything about me okay. is gospel. So for me, gospel music is my life. Is your life. Let me ask you this. Why gospel music? Why did you go into it? I mean, a fine young, a fine young man like you who be doing secular music, who be doing something, child, uh, down the whole place. You could be doing anything, but why gospel music? Yeah. Um, the point is that um, I was born into it. Wow. I was born into it. I didn't just do gospel music because um, I want to do it. Okay. Originally, um, as a young person growing up back mm -hmm. then in the university, mm -hmm. I used to do a song, uh, you know, we dance in, 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 we dance in the school, we dance in the club, we dance everywhere, <laughs> what, what they call secular music. Wow. But I got to understand that um, gospel music is my calling. Okay. First, I, I, I am called into serving God through music. So mm -hmm. I understand it to be a calling, not just uh, I want to do music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if I really wanted to do music, I know the kind of music I would have loved to do. Okay. You know? So gospel music for me, it's a calling. Okay. It's something that I was born into it. Mm -hmm. I born into a family uh, that is a godly, a family mm -hmm. that is serving God. Everything okay. about was from my forefathers, my great grandfathers. Wow. I've been into the ministry. So I was born into it. So wow. for me, gospel music is a calling. It's a calling. So let me ask you, what inspires your gospel music? What inspires you? Because I mean, I have listened to your music and sometimes I'm like, wow, 
this is just lovely. And some of the music are like, you know, one of the songs I was like, I woke up in the morning and I just kept hearing Afurunta and I said, Bobby, send me that song. What inspires you? Yes, um, um, talking about what inspired me. For me, mm -hmm. my inspiration, the ultimate inspiration mm -hmm. is from the Holy Spirit. Okay. It's from God who created heaven and earth. Okay. He calls me, so he inspired me. Okay. But generally, where I live here on earth, a lot of things, sometimes I used to pray, I should be able to live a, a life where I live with people because um, I find myself um, mostly staying lonely. Mm. So I, I get my inspiration when I am all alone. alone. I am more active, very, very alone. active when I am alone. Mm. I, I hear faster and better mm. when I am Kind alone. of like quiet time, yes. just you and your maker. But I, I discover something most times um, when I when I have some physical challenges. Okay. I derive most of my inspiration okay. from those challenges. Wow. wow. So uh, when challenges come my way, I I celebrate it because mm. I know I know I'm going to get something something big. out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, That's a good I, one. I celebrate it. I quickly mm -hmm. grab on it on opportunity. So now I don't look after the the challenges. I don't look at the problem. Mm -hmm. I look at the the benefits. The blessings, so what am I going to get everything out of behind that problem. So when the problem is at my front like this, I don't look at it. Mm. I try to look behind. Behind. Oh, there is something, something behind this. I kind of like to share that kind of sentiment <laughs> in ministry. <laughs> like there's always a song when you're going through something, exactly. when there's trials, you know, exactly. something is just going to come out of it that is positive right. for me. And I'm, I mean, I'm excited to hear that you go through the same thing as well. Let me ask you this question, Bobby. Mm -hmm. When you look at the Nigerian gospel scene mm -hmm. and gospel music ministry, or as, as an entertainment industry, what do you think is the future for us? Wow. Um, I think I am the future. You are the future. I think you are the future. Yes, I am. And I future. think we are the future. Yes, and the future is now. Wow. I, I remember back then when we used to listen to gospel music. Mm -hmm. uh, somehow, most of the gospel music we used to listen to at that time mm -hmm. would inject fears in us. Yeah. Because they will project this hellfire thing. Must be born again so I won't go to to hell, so mm -hmm. I can go to hell. And we never really understood this other part that we need to worship. God. We never understood this other part that man we need to celebrate. Mm. Uh, like we never understood this other part that we need to dance and enjoy ourselves, ourselves in God's presence. presence. That's right. So presently, right now, that understanding has come okay. to stay. Okay. That man, you are not just going to heaven. Mm -hmm. Man, people are not just going to hell. Mm -hmm. People need to celebrate God. That's people right. need to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Just, we need to dance. So, um, looking at the gospel music mm -hmm. ministry, added to the entertainment, added mm -hmm. to the industry, the future today, I, I see, I see something which I don't know any other person have seen. It. Okay. I've seen that the time comes that the whole world, both the people that are doing what we call secular, mm -hmm. don't have option. Mm. But to join. But to join. Mm. And the time is now. now. If I have an opportunity to tell them this, I will tell them. But you're telling join me. Join this now. <laughs> join it right now, wherever you, you want are. from. Join the gospel music ministry now. Mm. But there might be no time again. To join. To join. Mm. I hear so you that. have the opportunity to just join us now. I hear that. I hear that. So the, the, the future is now. now. I buy that idea. So typically, your kind of music that you make, how would you describe it? <laughs> oh, I, if I have a long, <laughs> list. long list, I will, I will describe them one by one. Yeah. <laughs> but generally, I would say that um, my kind of music mm -hmm. is inspirational. Okay. It's spiritual. Yes. And um, it's soul lifting. Mm -hmm. uh, inspirational in the sense that um, God has given me song that um, gives people hope. Mm -hmm. And not just hope, hope that um, directs you to God, leads you towards God. God. And also um, songs that bless life. So there's no how you listen to my song. I'm not just singing Bobby Freer. Mm -hmm. 
when I sing God, I sing Christ mm -hmm. in my songs. Mm -hmm. So automatically it inspires you. Mm -hmm. God does that the feedback of God from people. people. Of it inspires course. you. It, it leads you directly to God and um, it will sure give you the reason to praise and God. worship God. That's right, that's right. So, so it's spiritual, it is inspirational. And just, I, I still remember my first album. I remember I have I have a word in that album. I titled it All I Know. Mm -hmm. But um, in the motto of that, I said I said um, uh, a song. Oops, I could remember that word, that line. It's a, a song for uh, meditation mm -hmm. and something to in prayer. I remember. Okay. It's, so what is that? It's 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 a spiritual song mm -hmm. that will who take away the man inside of you mm. and allow the God inside of you to come out. To come out. Wow, okay. To manifest. Typically, your creative process, how is it like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like sharing my creative process. I don't want to know. I mean, somebody might be watching us and want to learn. Would you want to learn something different? I'm sure you do. So come on, spill. How is your creative process like? So you wake up and mm, you just... Not, not really. Okay. Not really that I wake up. My creative process is intentional. Okay. It's very, very intentional. All right. Uh, most times I sit down and I'm like, what do I just create? Mm. That's the first thing about so it. So thoughts. So when I, when I think about it, mm. the God that I serve mm. will give me a direction on how to, to go, go about, about it. it. I'm not just going about it. It's, it's, you know, when the spirit comes, you need physical intelligence. Mm -hmm to interpret the things of the spirit. Spirits. So I, what I do, I intentionally try things. Like mm -hmm. I intentionally make moves and say, let me try this. And in the process of trying, mm -hmm. it's either I will succeed or I make mistakes that would help me to correct, to correct. and be better. <laughs> So my process is, is, is why It's I just elaborate. Yeah. Okay. So I, I do things intentionally. I mm -hmm. create things intentionally. Like most times, for instance, uh, the way I tattoo my songs is very intentional. Yeah. The way I tattoo my it's songs. It's catchy. Very, very intentional. It's yeah. catchy. Because I started to understand that first, the way you tattoo your song is a brand. Mm -hmm. it's on its own. So most times I get confused every time I come up with a song. Mm -hmm. I feel like changing my brand. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like changing my brand. <laughs> so it's very intentional. Okay. Mm. okay. So anybody who wanna go far, who wanna do something very extraordinary, you mm. have to be intentional. Intentional about, about it. it. Well, I hear that. Whatever you're doing in the music industry, you have to be intentional about, about it. We're talking to Bobby Frigga. Bobby Frigga is a pastor, he's a music minister, he's a leader, and he's the CEO of Ameyaya Creative. Don't forget, I am your brother. Oh, of course. Um, oh, we have to put it there. He is my brother. He's part of me. He's part of the introduction. My brother. Now, let me ask my brother a question. Bobby Frigga, are you in any kind of relationship right now? Yes, I am. Really? Yeah, I'm in a relationship with Christ. Ah, I like it! You got me! <laughs> Ladies, I tried. I tried, I really did. So. <laughs> it's not a relationship with Christ. Yes. But hey, ladies, keep praying one of these days. You know, Christ might direct him towards your own end. But with that being said, who would you like to collaborate with? I have people that I want to collaborate with. I will so, shock you. Go ahead. I have a man that has inspired me in the mm -hmm. gospel, mm -hmm. but he's not really known as a gospel maybe singer or whatever. Okay. He's a secular artist. Wow. Well known as a secular artist, but he does most of the things mm -hmm. of God that have followed him a lot and okay. I got inspired more from mm -hmm. him. And his name is DMX. What? But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have about that. Seriously. <laughs> if you listen to DMX the way he prays. Yeah. Except you don't have blood inside of you. Inside of you, you will think about your life second time. Wow! If you listen to him, you follow him and listen to him the way he worship God. Mm. God you'll be like, is he a Christian? Then, or he's or, doing secular? Is he confused? Are so I personally serious? take time to study him, follow him up, and wow. all that. I would never even guess that one. That's my brother, God. right? <laughs> oh my God, Bobby. <laughs> If you were to give one message to your fans mm. who so much love you, buy your CDs when you are live mm. broadcasting, they're watching you, they're interested about what you're doing, and they want to be like you, 
what would that message be? My message has always been very simple and straight. Mm -hmm. Anybody that knows me, I say this everywhere. With regard is straightforward. Mm -hmm. With regard is open-minded. Mm -hmm. I speak the truth. I stand by the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm very honest. Mm -hmm. And my word to you, if you want to be like Bobby Frager, mm -hmm. be honest, mm -hmm. speak the truth, mm -hmm. be straightforward, mm -hmm. be intentional about your decision. That's right. You I hear that. What is your most useless talent? <laughs> I, I have them in, in lots, but I will just share two. Okay. And my one is that time. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., anytime I eat late hours, just eat. I wake up, like last night I woke up around 2 and I met Gary, started eating. Just useless. Useless. That's a talent for you to eat food. And the second one. Mm -hmm. Bite. <laughs> That's a bad habit. I do this every time. Even on the altar, I do it. I don't know. I've been trying to, I've just been trying to. But you see how I'm looking at you? I've been trying to respect myself since I, my hand has been. Trying to get his <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> I cannot believe my brother will sit up in here on my shelf and talk about him biting his fingers. <laughs> my mm. God. No wonder. I've been trying to like, Bobby, hold your hands. Don't bite his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, you know what? That is changing minds, changing mm -hmm. hearts too. Because here we keep it real on 100. But yeah. do you sing in the shower? And what kind of song do you sing oh, in the God. shower? My, my first one million audience is in my shower. It's in my bedroom with nobody. What? So you do it too? No, I've been singing for the past years to uh, on scene 1 million, 10 million people. Wow. Uh, in the shower, in the mirror. Even I'm. Um, I think two days ago, uh -huh. my sitting room now was just ministering to 10 million people. And you just, see them, just I like my that. And you just thinking. And just thinking, I was, I was sweating all over. <laughs> yeah, I was even ministering, <laughs> touching. <laughs> These are the use, some of the useless things we do behind the scenes. See, and then you and come out. Come out Useful. That's right. That, <laughs> you know, that's right. Preparation <laughs> takes a lot of time. That's so, the main event. But that's the truth. And that's the thing that gets you prepared. You know, sticking so, in the shower uh, and sometimes this. correcting yourself. I and that this. is good. I do this and I, I use my mattress as my stage sometimes. Climb the mattress. <laughs> stand. I jump on it. I jump, I jump, and I jump down again. And it's not been easy performing with that people. It's been, been a very... It's been because I have not been paid. The spirit has not been paying me. Uh -huh. So the spirit are owing me because I performed both... For them? Yeah. But I mean, I mean, look at it from the other side. But you're still alive. So I mean, I'm sure you enjoy it. So that's the way of paying you. You should too. make it physical because I'm living here on Earth, especially like in Nigeria. So uh -huh. you, should make it, you should make those things to manifest. Anyway. These are physical things, physical attributes. You're sitting down here with your sister on this show and I'm talking let to them, you. Let them have money. <laughs> Bobby Freaker. <laughs> If you were not doing anything <laughs> that is music, if you didn't have a music career, what other career would you be involved in? I'm going to say this because I'm, I'm sure my parents are watching this. <laughs> my parents forced me to do... In fact, they wanted me to be a scientist. Mm -hmm. So in my first degree, I mm -hmm. did I did microbiology mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. And after then, I went ahead and did physics electronics. What? And in the course of doing physics electronics, I, I fell in love with ICT. So after physics electronics, I went in again for the ICT. I did the CCNA. Wow. And all that. And, and this one, this one is for you? And I did all this. For you? The, the first two, I did it for them. The second one, I started taking it for myself. But along the line, I discovered exactly what you love. What I love. What you see, I, I have this belief that um, when you give it, when you give your passion, mm -hmm. like when you invest your passion into your calling, you easily succeed. Mm -hmm. That's my understanding. Okay. So I discovered also uh, from my parents, mm -hmm. I found out from them that uh, when I was growing up. Bobby is one of that child I used to love fashion so much. I used to dress with my socks, my sandals, 
oh, attacking wow. in the room. My hand has slipped cross leg like this so that the glow will not uh, run for just wow. so the first thing in the morning I woke up like that. <laughs> My God. So Crazy. the reason I I, I I had to invest in in the Amaya creatives. Wow. So the, if I was not singing, mm. I believe I would have seen end my life in singing. Okay. Because it has been a family thing. So if you if you weren't singing, you would still be singing. <laughs> I feel that. On that note, now I'm looking at your your life as a person and growing up with the kind of father that you have, the kind of parents that you have, disciplinarian and people who are really into the word of God and the work of God. What would be the best advice you've ever gotten as a gospel music minister? Um, I don't wish my father is not watching this part. I wish he's not watching this Why not? My parents are not watching this part. But if they are watching, well, mm -hmm. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you very well. But somehow, in the physical world, mm -hmm. I say, man, growing up with the kind of parents that I have, mm -hmm. you need a special grace. Wow. To, uh, wow. To uh, grow with them. Okay. And one of the best advice that you ask, mm -hmm. I've gotten so far, is um, leave it for God. That's deep, you know. Serious. That's deep. Leave it for God. I have found myself in a situation where I, 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 I took some. I wanted to take some action. Uh, drastic. Not just drastic. Uh, some action that. Um, uh, maybe I will not be sitting down here today wow. to talk about it. Uh, but the simple word, the simple line was just leave it for, for God. God. Mm. Man, it's not easy to leave it for God. Oh. Uh, sometimes, right? I tell you. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep it real, man, because sometimes, yeah. man. But at the end of the day, I, I, think. I, think I see the need. I, I have to leave everything for God. for God. Because He knows everything. Maybe I would have just killed somebody. Wow. But you see, God. Wow. God taking care of that particular, you know, incident that I, I wanted to take a decision. Mm -hmm. Perspectives, things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. Watch the Princess Patapatio Show.